Hi, welcome to the discussion on Durer's Adam and Eve. I'm Mrs. Wyatt uh, here with Mrs. Morin. And we're going to talk about um, this Northern Renaissance piece. Title is Adam and Eve. Your artist is Albrecht Durer. Your historical period is the Northern Renaissance. And the materials here are engraving and mechanical point. So would you like to talk to us about the intended purpose and why it's made? Sure. Um, so this piece, once again, it's a Northern Renaissance piece. However, what we're seeing in it is um, slightly different than what we're used to seeing in Northern Renaissance. This is showing classical human proportions. So if you think back in ancient Greece and in Rome, when we saw those statues, this is showing that um, those idealistic Vitruvian, Vitruvian figures. Um, the really interesting thing is about the material that Durer used in this. He intentionally made it a print so that um, in those days, you would have to travel to see Italian Renaissance pieces, which, you know, we all know travel is pretty expensive. So with a print, he could mass produce this and uh, more people would have access and could educate themselves on um, the classical human proportions and uh, learn about these Italian Renaissance styles, the Southern Renaissance styles without needing to travel. So that's really neat about... Um, this piece in particular is um, kind of that educational background that it can it has. And then um, here you can see there's a close up of the parrot. Uh, one thing we want to stress throughout all of the Renaissance, it's not an accident when something kind of unusual is in a picture. They always are showing symbolism in all of these pieces. And in this one in particular, you can see there's quite a few animals. Now this is in the Garden of Eden and it's just before um, that, um, before the, what is that called? The, the sin, original sin, before original sin. And um, you can see that in the hand of Eve, there's a piece of fruit and there's a snake and she's got another piece of fruit in her hand. And the original sin was uh, related to um, they ate from the tree of knowledge, they were kicked out, right? And then that kind of put a curse on the rest of humanity. Well, this little parrot here is supposed to represent another important figure in Christianity, which is the Virgin Mary. And um, her presence or the symbolic presence of this, this parrot is, um, on the opposite, that's opposite of Eve, is kind of showing that um, Mary is the antidote to that original sin. And so uh, putting those in this place, um, and including all the other animals, I mean, these are not here on accident. They all have a purpose. They're not just there to look pretty. <laughs> so whenever you look at these pieces, always note that, you know, there's no, that there's an elk here and there's a reason for the elk. And we can read through that. But the last thing on there is our patron and intended audience. And our patron in this, uh, we did not have one. Durer funded this himself. And then the intended audience would be Northern Europeans. Because remember, this is supposed to make it accessible so they don't have to travel. And that's about everything. you have anything to add, Mrs. Wyatt? No. Sounds great. All righty. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching.